Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be trying out some matte lipsticks that I recently came across. With inflation, you guys, everything is so expensive right now that I was just like, you know what? I want to review products that are really affordable that maybe I haven't tried here on my channel just to see what they're all about in case you're just looking, you know, to save your coin, but you still want to find really good products you can probably add to your collection. So today we're going to be testing out the Essence Hydra Matte Lipsticks. They came with eight different shades. They run for $4.99. That's honestly what grabbed my attention. They're super affordable. On their website, there really isn't much a description. It just said it's supposed to be matte, hydrating, cruelty, free which you guys know I love and so I picked up four different lip colors that we're gonna be trying on it today and we're just gonna see what is the consistency like what are the undertones like and essentially is it actually worth picking up so I hope you guys enjoy everything will be linked down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and let's jump on in and try these out starting off in our first lip shade this is called mauve mint and this is number 104 let me show you guys it is so so pigmented it was literally with like a few swatches <laughs> and I was so surprised it definitely has a matte finish but it looks really hydrating all at the same time so I feel like it's gonna be really comfortable on the lips I'm really excited to see how it looks on I'm not a huge fan of Moavi lip shades like this but I do know that you know there's a few of you out there who will appreciate me trying on one of these lip colors but who knows maybe I'll end up applying it on and actually end up liking it for the packaging it's really simple it feels like it's made of plastic really small and lightweight as a for a scent I was surprised that it smells really really good like I don't even know how to describe the scent to be really honest but if I had to like if I really really had to describe the scent I would say it smells like like a soft fruity scent but in the best way it smells so fresh and yummy I really like it and we also receive a pretty decent amount for the price point that we are paying of lipstick I feel like this essentially lasts you such a long time and so far I really like it so I'm going to quickly remove the lip combo that I currently have on and then we'll just jump on in and try on mauve mint I'm going to go ahead and start in the center of my lips for usual and look at that super pretty press my lips together it transfers over really nicely mauve mint is actually really pretty guys it's really pigmented it didn't take very much effort to apply on an even amount it feels literally like hydrating but like powdery and soft it doesn't feel sticky when I press my lips together the formula doesn't separate you guys know I, I have a pet peeve about that I don't like it when I press my lips together and the formula is like moving all around and it doesn't look even so but this looks really really nice I'm not a huge fan of this lip shade but if I had to pair it with a lip liner I'd play it with something a little bit taupey or something of like a chocolate brown just to add a little bit of warmth and dimension but overall I applied it on effortlessly love the consistency it doesn't feel drying I don't feel like it's enhancing the fine lines to my lips so so far so good in the scent you guys the scent is so yummy I absolutely love the scent so let's move on to lip shade number two the second lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on this is called honey sly okay and this is I would describe this as a really pretty brown nude it's really really nice I feel like I can definitely see myself wearing this lip shade I gravitate towards lip colors like this to be really honest it's just effortless easy it goes with any kind of eye look and it just kind of ties everything together and I feel like it'll complement my skin complexion really nicely with a lip liner I would pair this with a chocolate brown lip liner or a nude lip liner just to add a little bit warm something that looks similar to this lip color shade but so far it was really easy to apply this on so I'm really excited to see if I end up really liking it you know <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start in the center and so far it looks so so pretty it transfers over really nicely and obviously you can easily dilute the pigmentation if you feel like it's a little too pigmented you can just lightly pat it throughout your lips and press your lips together to get a sheer application honey slay you already know girl I love the name and I love the lip color shade you have no idea it's like I run to these lip color shades all the time like I gravitate towards them but it's, it's really pretty it was really easy to apply on I'm not gonna lie I did go in twice layering this on it just because I really wanted to see what this lip color shade can really look like and it's just beautiful again you can easily dilute the pigmentation apply a light amount on your lips by dabbing it and then pressing your lips together but if again it feels really comfortable 
hydrating but not too drying and I really like it so far I have no complaints I feel like this lip shade I would wear this day or night it's not too too pigmented for my liking that you can easily be really flexible and create different looks with this so so far I really like it so let's move on to our third lip shade this is called virtue rose girl and it has a really like interesting undertone it almost looks like a red but in person it looks like it has a rosy undertone it's not as red like a bold red like it's like a perfect in between i'm hoping i'm making sense and i hope you can see it what i'm talking about <laughs> when i was watching this on the back of my hand but it's really really pretty i do find it to be pretty unique than anything that i feel like i have tried when it comes to a lipstick so i'm gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips and press my lips together and so far it transfers over really nicely so if you want to like a light blush of color i feel like this would be perfect because it look like your natural little lip color which is really really nice virtue rose you know i appreciate this lip color shade even though i don't gravitate towards rosy tone lip colors i think this is really pretty it's definitely give me spring uh, summer vibes which i really like i can definitely see myself pairing this with a chocolate brown lip liner you guys already know you guys i need a little warmth when it comes to my lip color shades i don't know just something about it just leaving it alone I don't know I just want something a little bit more but it was really easy to apply on it's a really pretty lip shade it feels really comfortable on my lips and so far I don't have any complaints you guys no flakiness no feathering so let's move on to our last and final lip color shade we're gonna go ahead and try on it is called girl peach it okay and I'm really excited to apply this on it almost looks like it has like a rosy peachy undertone like a mix of both it is really pretty it's definitely giving me like spring summer even maybe fall vibes and I really like it you can easily pair this I feel like with a chocolate brown lip liner I know I always keep repeating myself but girl I feel like a chocolate brown you can never go wrong <laughs> and it's really really pretty I feel like it would complement one another really nicely I think I might even try it out just to to play around and just see how it look on but so far I really like it I feel like you can easily wear this a day or night and I just really like the neutral undertone that it has so I'm gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips and actually it looks a lot lighter now that I've applied it on my lips than I thought it would look on but so far it is really pretty and almost looks like like a peachy nude and you guys are here my channel girl I like a peachy nude peach it I really like it it's a really pretty lip shade I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion really easy to apply on it did definitely look a lot lighter on once I applied it on my lips just for some reason I thought it was gonna look a little bit darker but overall I still really like it. I'm going to go in with a brown shade lip liner just so I can add a little warmth to it. So I can show you what I mean. Blending it in to the lip color. And I know you're supposed to line your lips and then go in with the lipstick shade, but I feel like it looks a little slightly better when <laughs> you apply on the lipstick and then go in the lip liner. Maybe that is just me, but I don't know. Something about it looks so much better. But as you can see, it just looks really nice and soft and it blends in with the lip color shade, something like this. It blends really nicely. So, so far, I really like it. I can definitely see myself wearing this lip color even after this video, which honestly doesn't really always happen a lot. There's only so many that I can use, but I really like this one. It's really, really nice and I love the fact that it feels really nice and comfortable and soft, you guys. For $4.99, I would definitely say go run <laughs> and try them out. They're such a really great deal. Love that it's cruelty-free, hydrating, but still matte. I like the packaging. I love the amount that they're giving us. And the scent smells so good. It's really nice and soft. You have to get really close to pick up the scent, in my opinion. But really, there is no complaints. Obviously, there are two that I ended up really loving. The other two are just not lip color shades that I naturally gravitate towards. But if you love a mauve, I love a rosy tone lip color shade, you might end up really liking these. And if you try this collection, comment down below, girl. Share your thoughts, opinions. What do you like? What do you don't like? Is there anything else I should try from their brand? I'd love to know. I'd love to film some videos for you guys. So this is basically it. Everything will be linked down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much. Bye.